Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Cindy and I post videos on education, everything nursing related, beauty and lifestyle. Um, in this video, I will be explaining to you guys my personal experience on how I got into a top college in my state, which is New York State, with low mediocre GPA compared to the general admissions and literally no money. So you guys know that I feel that it's important to be able to talk about um, failure, struggles, and mistakes because there's literally not one straight path to get to um, to any goal. I hope that um, videos like this are able to help those who are thinking about applying to college and going to college because I know when I was these videos were helpful for me. So if you want to know more then please keep watching. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, it really helps me out. So let's begin. So in this video I'll explain to you guys my personal experience on how I got accepted into a top college in my state. My state is New York State. Um, with low GPA compared to the general population and literally no money. But before we actually really get started, I just want to throw out a disclaimer. Um, this is not necessarily an in-depth informational video. It is just me explaining my personal experience on how I got into a top college with low stats and no money. I want this video to be a helpful source for those that are looking to apply to college and who are going through um, similar circumstances that I did. I remember when I thought I wasn't going to be accepted into a good college and if I did, how was I going to pay for it? The program that I'm going to talk about, um, I didn't know it even existed. My counselors or teachers didn't even bring it up to me or tell me about it. So I want to spread awareness about this program and to let you guys know that there are programs out there who will help you get into and through college successfully. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So the program that got me into college and helped me pay for it is called the EOP program. So Cindy, what is the EOP program? The EOP program stands for the Educational Opportunity Program. It was created under the Higher Education Act. Um, in order to increase access to higher education, um, particularly those who come from disadvantaged and minority backgrounds. So it's a program designed to help underserved students um, to meet educational goals by providing resources like academic resources, financial resources, and just overall like help. So the program has many perks, some of them being that I was able to pick my classes before um, the general population, which was great because I had, um, for, for the most part, I was able to pick the classes that I wanted. They provided guidance. Um, I also was provided a book stipend, so many times I did not pay out of pocket for my textbooks, which was very helpful because, you know, um, textbooks in college can be definitely pricey. And also this program offered me free tutoring, so that was also a plus. A1 program, I highly recommend. Helped me succeed in college and I would truly recommend this program for those that are in high school and have to deal with the same circumstances that I did. A side note from before I get to really, really explain the program. A side note, I will be explaining the program in regards to my state, which is New York State. I know other states have a similar program, but they're not necessarily called um, the same thing. Also, depending on whether you're looking in the private or um, public school system, it might also be called something different. Like, for example, I'm going to be talking about the EOP program, which is New York State's um, public school system versus HEOP is um, in the private school system. So. I suggest you guys go ahead and do your research on what um, programs your state offers. So EOP students like myself tend to be first generation college students. We tend to come from economically disadvantaged backgrounds and we need financial support in terms of going to college. We are educationally disadvantaged which I will talk about later and we demonstrate the potential to succeed in college but we fall short of the general admissions GPA requirement. I'm going to talk about the two main requirements 
Um, the first one is the GPA requirement. In general, the GPA requirement for EOP tends to be lower than the regular admissions. So, I will be talking about the two main requirements in order to be eligible for this program. The first uh, requirement I'll be talking to you guys about is the GPA requirement. Generally, the EOP GPA requirement is lower than um, general admission. So, I'm going to pull up random stats from um, a random year and my school. I'm not going to tell you guys my school because um, I just want to protect my privacy. So I'll be pulling up these stats in order for you guys to really get an idea of the, the ranges and stuff. Alright, so this is for a particular year at my college for regular admissions. So for regular admissions, SAT scores combined is 1260 to 1420. The AC scores is 27 to 32. And the high school GPA is a uh, 91 to 97. So those are the average scores of um, regular admissions from my school for this particular year. And compared to the stats for EOP, um, the SAT ranges from 1070 to 1170. The ACT is 21 to 24. And then the high school GPA is 86 to a 92. So I feel like the general admission GPA is definitely high in my opinion. And without this program, I wouldn't have gotten in um, solely based off of my grades. It was very important to me that I got into pro this program um, in order to um, get into this college. So there are many reasons why there is a GPA requirement that is usually lower than the um, general admissions population. I, but I don't want to make this an affirmative action topic, nor do I want to make this a cause and effect um, statement. And by no means am I making this like this causes this. I don't want to come across as generalizing minority backgrounds and I just want to explain my story and how I got into college with um, lower stats than the general population. So I want to tell you guys that it's definitely possible to get into a top college um, and your stats may not particularly fit into the average criteria but there are other programs out there catered to at least me and people who come from similar circumstances like me um, help get into college so I recommend you guys doing your research. One of the main reasons why there is a GPA requirement that fits within a lower range um, compared to the general population is because it's understood that because you're from a lower income uh, minority background, you probably didn't have the time and access to resources in your most likely um, public school. You probably didn't have SAT prep, ACT um, prep, or um, additional resources that would help you look and become like a competitive applicant. And that is mainly why there's academic requirements. Um, generally, people who come from these circumstances, um, their families don't have the resources to pay for SAT prep or tutoring. Um, maybe they didn't have the money to send you to a good school district or a good high school that had all that equipped in order for you to be prepared for college. For example, I went to um, a public high school and my public high school barely offered anything. When I mean barely, we didn't have many APs, we barely had honor classes, um, we didn't really have resources, I didn't have SAT prep, ACT prep, or anything like that. And my mom definitely didn't have the money to come out her pocket and pay for these resources in order for me to... Um, become um, a more competitive applicant to get my um, GPA and standardized test scores up. And I know it's important to have all these, especially like AP classes and honor classes, because things like this, um, college look for in an applicant in order for them to be considered um, a competitive applicant. And aside from resources that I couldn't control because of like the school that I went to and I couldn't get out of it because of like money reasons. On a side note, with my personal experience, 
EOP also understands that because we come from minority backgrounds, there are other factors that hinder us from being able to fully commit and fully study. One being, I was raised, I'm raised by a single mother and by the time I was able to work, which was I believe 15 years old, I had to get a job in order to support my family and be able to get things on my own. And because of that reason, I wasn't able to, um, if I needed homework help, which I did a lot, need, I needed help a lot of times, but I wasn't able to stay after school to get that extra help, to get that extra tutoring, to get that one-on-one -on -one time with my teachers. Because I had to um, go to work and make that money. Um, and if it wasn't work, I had to go straight home and take care of my little brother who... Um, wasn't able to like watch over himself and my mom was basically at work all the time so I had other responsibilities in my life that um, that didn't allow me to fully fully commit to my studies and I'm not like blaming like my circumstances for um, like the stats that I had but I just wanted to make it a point and highlight that I definitely had barriers and parts in my life that um, made it harder for me to compete with um, my peers from other schools who were whose families were able to pay for that extra help or able to guide them into college. So that's my story and my little rant. So let's move on to the second requirement. The second requirement is the financial part. So you have to make, your family has to make under a certain amount in order for you to meet the criteria of EOP. I don't have these numbers um, because, because like it varies. So I suggest you guys do your research and look for the, the household income um, line or cutoff for um, EOP. So I def vouch for EOP. Without this program, I probably wouldn't have made it to college. I wouldn't have made it into a top college. I wouldn't have made it successfully through college. The program guided me financially, academically, and spiritually through college. Um, they provided, provided me with so much, so much, and I'm truly grateful. I was truly successful because of this program, and I am the first in my family to um, graduate college and I'm very proud of that. So that's it folks for today's video. If you guys found this helpful then please give me a thumbs up and I hope this video was able to help those who are um, in similar circumstances that I was um, think about college and think about um, pursuing college because it is definitely possible and there are definitely programs out there that will help you succeed in college. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.